What's going on YouTube? Rob again, and today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Generations, Autobot, Tailgate, and Groundbuster. Uh, now as you can see here, Tailgate, if you're familiar, is looking very IDW uh, in this incarnation. And originally when I heard that there was going to be a two-pack, I assumed this, that he was going to be just a repaint of Swerve, or possibly a retooling, but that is not the case. This is a completely new mold, uh, and that's pretty darn exciting. Uh, although I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about the alt mode that's been chosen for him, but we'll get into that in just a second. And of course we have Groundbuster, which is a uh, very uh, electric blue, uh, or Energon power, whatever you want to call it, uh, very bright blue bulldozer. And that's uh, quite interesting. So you can see over here, on the back he's got bulldozer mode, uh, he's got robot mode, and of course a weapon mode. Uh, in this case not a gun, but like a claw thing of some kind. And of course Tailgate is a sports car here for whatever reason. Um, and that's interesting. Uh, so you can check out the stats here. Uh, you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read what those are. I'll, uh... <laughs> And that should be enough. All right, so uh, we've got a bio here. These two Autobots both have a habit of digging themselves into holes. Groundbuster will dig into almost anything that's underground, holing up there to plot his next move. Autobot Tailgate never hesitates to dig himself a hole by making up stories of his exploits. He wouldn't even stop short of claiming to be one of the original primes if the occasion called for it. So anyhow, I am just going to open this guy up and check him out in person, and I will see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, so here we have Tailgate and Groundbuster. And let me apologize for my complete brain fart uh, a minute ago. <laughs> um, it took me getting him out of the package and putting him into vehicle mode to realize, oh, that's his... G1 alt mode. That's that's why it looks. <laughs> that's why it's a sports car, cause you know. Yeah. So anyway, that aside, here is tailgate and ground pound or ground buster. I'm sorry, ground buster. Um, and he's he's pretty neat. He is not without some flaws, uh, that are a little bit unfortunate, and we'll we'll get into those in just a moment. But as you can see, he is a white sports car with silver uh, windows, which eh, I would have preferred maybe black uh, for that, but he's got some nice blue uh, flames going on here as well as an Autobot symbol. Um, all of the uh, wheels are not clipped on. Uh, these these back two are clipped on, these front are uh, pinned. But uh, as you can see, he rolls just fine, no trouble with that. Um, you can see him all squooshed up underneath on the bottom. And it, yeah, kind of an interesting uh, sort of way to transform him with the legs. Uh, I didn't didn't think about that at first when I was trying to get him into alt mode without the instructions, but I uh, figured it out. Um, and of course, Ground Buster, a little blue tank, or not tank, a, a bulldozer. And, uh, yeah, you can see his uh, robot motor underneath as well, <laughs> shockingly enough. Uh, anyway, so to transform them, we'll, uh, we'll start with this guy here and uh, transform him. What you want to do is uh, press on this white part here and just push it back. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and uh, you can flip his arms out as well. Uh, he's got big flop arms. They are molded in underneath. And he's even got like a little peg hole. I wonder if you could get a, a Cyberverse weapon in there. I don't have any handy to uh, test it out with, but you could, possibly. Oh uh, yeah, so there is Ground Buster. We'll just stick him right over there. And uh, for Tailgate, what you want to do is go ahead and unpeg basically everything. Just pull these back bits out, just a skosh, and then separate the top front halves of the vehicle mode. Uh, then you want to just bring the legs down like so 
out of the way. Then bring this whole section up, kind of rotating the legs down as you do so, and then plug that in. You can also rotate these car bits around if you so desire. It looks a little bit better when you do, in my opinion. And then just flip the lower legs around and flip the robot feet forward like so. Uh, you want to pull the shoulders down all the way and then take the car that's kind of laying on the back here and just bring it up and over like that. And there you basically have tailgate. You can just uh, kind of flip his forearms around to get those going. Uh, yeah, and so there you, there you have him. He is tailgate in all of his glory. Uh, you can see the head sculpt here, looking very much IDW-esque, a little, little homage to his G1 counterpart as well. Uh, you can rotate the head, the, the rotation point is way down below here, uh, but you can rotate it slightly. Uh, it is hindered by the head flap, um, but you can rotate it a little bit if you pull that down. Unfortunately, that is the big problem with this figure. He gets in his own way a whole lot. Uh, like he's got these nice ball jointed shoulders, but they are uh, they are hindered by the uh, the car junk hanging off, so he can only move not quite freely at all. <laughs> um, he has elbow hinge going on here, uh, but again, it is it can be hindered by the car as well and his, his forms just look really flat they look kind of weird when you've got him posed up uh, his legs of course are also blocked by this car junk and uh yeah <laughs> so he gets in his own way a lot but other than that he's a pretty he's a nice little figure um nothing terribly wrong uh you just can't quite pose him as nicely as you would like um so that's kind of a bummer uh, like his arms are always going to be kind of pointing in a little bit uh, when you've got his arms outstretched. So he can't, you know, he can't really get his arms out to the sides. Uh, so that is kind of a bummer. Um, yeah. So he does have a hip or foot foot wiggle due to transformation as well. You can get that going on if he so desire. And uh, ground buster here becomes a handy dandy weapon uh, by pulling this handle down like a so and then you can push this white part forward and as you can see you get some some chomping claw action going on there so you got that that going on <laughs> and he just becomes this gigantic ridiculous weapon so you've got that you might want to give it him uh, both hands to hold that so yeah there in a nutshell is uh, Generations Tailgate. Uh, not terrible, not bad, um, but certainly not not without some flaws that I think at this point in the uh, the waves, they, they probably could have gotten around those just by a little bit of, you know, a little shifting here and there, put this over there, make this a little thinner, but yeah, it's, you know, for what it's worth, it's, it's a decent $10 figure set, and uh, yeah, I like it. I mean... He's not great to pose and play with, but um, he looks like Tailgate, and uh, he uh, <laughs> he looks pretty decent with uh, Deluxe Cyclonus, um, which I don't have on hand, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, there you go, Tailgate, IDW, kind of G1, there you have it. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I've got more Transformers coming up real soon. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.